Childhood obesity on the rise. Nothing is more important than getting our kids active, not just for a day, but to set them up for a lifetime of healthy living. That's where the Mark Cuban Heroes Basketball Center comes in. And joining me today is Trina Terrell Andrews, CEO of the center, and Tuani Arujo Cruz, Director of Texas Health Resources. Good morning to both of you. Thank you for joining us. I want, first want to start with Tuani. Where do we stand right now in this battle to help keep our kids fit? Well, uh, it's a challenge, right? Especially after the COVID-19 pandemic, it's been a challenge to get kids engaged and participating in sports. And so we have programs like Yes Dallas and like um, the Mark Cuban Heroes Center who are actively seeking opportunities to get kids fit. Yeah, and Trina, let's talk about that with the, the Mark Cuban Heroes Foundation. They have a new program that I understand really geared towards middle school students. Yes, so it is the Yes Dallas program that Tawani was speaking of. This program is interactive. It's for ages 11 to 14. The fun part about it is they get to do everything from basketball to volleyball. We've even added cooking and grilling classes, nutrition classes. I was telling Tawani earlier, we tried to slip in runway classes, but they said no. So we, we tried to do something very fun and unique with them as well well as physical fitness classes, um, yoga, meditation, different things for them to do, not just at home, um, but also at our building or outside of the school if possible. Mm -hmm. And Tawani, let's talk a little bit more about this program, the requirements, what exactly they offer. If someone out there is watching this and interested, what do they need to do? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, in 2019, Texas Health was selected as one of 18 organizations nationwide to participate in the youth engagement and sports strategy, yes. Um, the goal of the strategy is to get kids engaged in physical activity, to give them an opportunity to participate in sports, as well as bring in some uh, skills related to uh, nutritional eating and, uh, and nutritional education. Um, so if kids who want to participate in the program, we welcome you. Um, we want kids who are in sixth through eighth grade. The goal is to get them engaged, get them participating, at least 60 minutes a day of physical activity, as well as uh, committed to doing the nutritional education portion uh, so it's it's you know kids are encouraged to come join us there we'll need them to do an assessment uh, because it is a program that's a research-based program and we're looking to collect some data to see the improvements as well yeah and you see the eligibility requirements there on the screen you said 60 minutes a day you know these kids today they love their phones how challenging is that to get them off their phones and exercising we have not run into that problem. Thankfully, <laughs> don't jinx us, Chris. <laughs> um, the good thing is when they come to our building, we don't have any of the uh, things that they're usually accustomed to, which is the video games. And we do put your phones away at least for the time that you're there with us. Um, but when they start engaging one another, they do everything from foosball um, to get them going and get them started. They love doing the grilling classes. So we have now uh, some junior master chefs that we have um, been working with quite a bit for the past two years. So it's been an amazing opportunity for the kids. Um, and then also they get to do a lot of engagement with their parents. So we've discovered a lot of our parents have not been shy to tell us I've never cooked before. Um, so that's been the, the cool part is them to get some new fun experiences, but things that they can do at home. And then we're starting to see a lot of the programs we offer at our building. They actually do it at home now. Yeah, that looks great right there. Oh. Learn some <laughs> skills, learn some skills yes. that you can use, put down the phone. We love it, and hopefully you guys get a lot of interest from those kids out there. Trina and Tawani, thank you for joining us this midday, and of course, we